I made these and I was asked how they were made so I thought a bit of variety we'll look at doing a short Wings 3D tutorial to make something an object like this this is essentially a, these are two part cubes uh, this outer part with the metal material and this inner part with this uh, matte red material so it's a matter of uh, creating it and saving the components so uh, we won't make a cube again because that would be a bit boring so we'll make something new so here we are in Wings 3D right click and you can summon up this uh, little menu and it will allow you to create different things so I'll create an octahedron so that looks like this and this is a selection tool so on this setting I could just select the entire object and then if I switch to this one it will switch to the edges now if I right click I get a context sensitive menu and what I'll do is I'll bevel these edges down so that allows me, I'm now moving the mouse left and right and that allows me to control the level of beveling so if I switch back to everything selected again right click and uh, a different menu appears it's context sensitive because uh, I can do this do Sabian subdivision and that allows me to uh, increase the complexity of the geometry it does a sort of smoothing effect now I'm going to select faces if I press space it deselects everything and then I'll just select a face by left clicking on it and then if I press I it will select identical spaces if I right click now I can uh, I can scale uniform so I can increase the size of that triangle there and having done that right click again I'm going to intrude you have to be a bit careful using intrude because as you can see it's quite a complex procedure and this um, allows me to make this sort of hollow shape and as you can see as I'm moving the mouse left and right though you can't see me doing that uh, but you can see the effect of moving it left and right it's uh, allowing me to control the thickness of its intrusion so the, the faces have to be selected for the intrusion and the ones that are selected the ones that just disappear and part start intruding into the object so left click to verify that choice and I'm going to select the whole object again and press S which is another kind of smooth and now I press space and look at my object so I've done a variety of different uh, procedures there to, to create this shape and now I'm going to look at selecting the, the two parts that I want to put my um, effect on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a line there so I've used the line selection if I press I all identical lines will be selected on the object and then press L and it will do a looping so you can see that they are extended if I press it again it goes around the end it's not quite completed these loops so I'll just select those press I and then L so now that's given me a line all the way around and now I can uh, I'm going to select one here but I'll, what I'm going to do is select that and press I and then press L so now you can see I've got lines running around and some looping in through those um, through those holes and they also continue inside so right click I'm going to bevel those so can I extend those and so I've just bevelled them to their maximum size and right click again and extrude and select normal and that will allow me to lift those out so let's see how is that looking there's some, a bit of a peculiarity just here that's occurred but, you know this is it's not unusual for peculiar things to happen in the geometry I'll we'll just see how it turns out right now if I press plus it'll extend the selected faces down the side and now I press S for smooth and that'll add a bit of complexity there the next thing to do is in the select menu select inverse and then I can press S again for smooth and that adds a bit of complexity in these inner faces and then a select inverse again and press smooth so that's just pressing the S button and get a bit more complexity on the outside so you can see now I've got this uh, outer selection which is going to be a met metallic effect and this inner selection I'm just looking at the complexity there because I don't want any facets to show up really so I'll select inverse again and what I'm going to do now is right click and select whole so now that makes 
all those that selected surfaces are whole and then I go file export um, object wavefront obj that uh, seems to be the best choice and I'll call that outer uh, edge alright then when it's saved you can see a little progress bar on the bottom right hand side here because the more complex the geometry is the more likely it is to crash on saving as well there are limitations with wings I suppose you should see if it can go large address aware but that's another consideration so I'll press Control Z and that will bring those faces back and then I go select inverse and at this point I uh, now can make these bits that I've selected holes again so right click and go hole and then I've got the other bits of surface to work with so I go file and export wavefront object and then can do that uh, inner face so that's now going to save and that uh, allows me to have my, my two bits and then if I go to Bryce and we can check to see whether this procedure's worked and uh, you can see the result of this and see if it's actually had the desired effect so file import object and I'll just navigate to where the objects are so outer edge first of all just check that that's brought that in and file import object it's down here somewhere and then inner face open check that and that's put the two together so I'll just take the material for the inner one I'll just make that uh, red for the time being and we'll move the camera around and take a closer look and see how that looks now see if the bits are fully aligned so there you go that's uh, fairly straightforward and then obviously at that point you can start to uh, putting more fancy materials on and and you know tighten things up a bit but otherwise it's a fairly s straightforward process and uh, the the cubes that I showed you I'm just moving the camera around so you can see this from a different angle in this image here were made using the same method I just uh, took a cube rounded the corners a bit um, intruded it and then selected some points around the edge and just kept smoothing them and then inverting the selection and smoothing them inverting the selection until I got a shape of light and then saved the two halves as uh, as I've shown you here and then imported them and then rendered them up so all very straightforward really. Okay, there's you go, a short Wings 3D tutorial.